Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So we're going to be solving question 32 from the first chapter of the Peer and Johnson textbook, Mechanics of Materials, and we have two wooden members of uniform cross-section that are joined by the simple scarf splice, as we can see. And we know that the maximum allowable tensile stress in the glue splice is 75 PSI. So we have the maximum of the tensile stress will be 75 psi is the first given that we have and um, in the a part of the question we have to find the largest load p so we need to find the p max in here in the a part and in the b part we need to find the corresponding shearing stress in this place so the surface that we are talking about is this surface here and if we we'll look at from the point of view of this guy to the wooden member that we have or the top part of the wooden member we're going to see something like this so in the top part we have the force p on two sides and if we want to go with the bottom members we have the p prime but the question here is asking for the p not p prime so we're going to go with the top part of this wooden member and uh, there is one area that we can find it very easy and that would be this area which we can call it A and if we look at it 2D will be this area in here I'm going to call it A and we have information about this angle here which is 60 degrees so if that's the 60 degrees uh, this will be 90 minus 60 or 30 degrees. Uh, the reason I said that is that we can find the uh, relationship between A and this area of the blue displays, we can call it A prime, is that if we try to find the cosine of 30 degrees in the triangle that I'm highlighting in yellow here, uh, we can figure out the cosine of 30 would be the adjacent or a over the hypotenuse or a prime we can easily find a so our a prime would be a over cosine of 30 degrees that's one thing the forces that we have in here that we are trying to figure out is these two forces one perpendicular to the glued surface and the other force that is going to make the shear stress would be this force parallel to the surface and we know that this angle here is also 30 degrees so if that's the case the perpendicular force would be p cosine of 30 and the parallel one would be p sine of 30 degrees uh, the reason that this angle is also 30 degrees is that when we have two angles like this where each side is perpendicular to the other one these two angles are the same what we have in here is this one and these two which is the same scenario each of them are perpendicular to the other one and if you continue this this will be perpendicular to this so these two will be the same so now that we have the normal force and the perpendicular force uh, we know the maximum of the tensile stress in the A part is 75 PSI. And the force that we have in here is the normal force to the glued surface, which is P cosine of 30 degrees. And the area, as I mentioned, would be the area of the splice, the glued splice, or A prime, which is A over cosine of 30 degrees. So the cosine in the the denominator of the denominator is going to go into the numerator so we'll have basically p cosine of 30 times cosine of 30 or cosine squared of 30 degrees over a and from here if you want to find p which is what the question is asking which would be the maximum or the largest p that we can have since we are going with the largest uh, value for tensile stress so the largest Force P in here would be basically the maximum of tensile stress times A over cosine squared of 30 degrees. 
so we have 75 for the maximum of the tensile stress the area of uh it's pretty easy we have this red rectangle here one side is three the other side is five so three times five is going to give us 15 inches squared and we have cosine squared of 30 degrees that's going to give us the maximum value or the largest p that we can have let's calculate this quick 75 times 15 divided by cosine of 30 squared so it's going to be 1500 pounds since we have psi it's going to give us pound or 1.5 if we want to report it as kips so now that we have the force p uh, we can find the maximum of shearing rate which is what the question is asking in the be part of the question the corresponding shear stress in this place and for shearing stress this time we have the parallel force to the surface which is going to make the shearing stress so p sine of 30 degrees over same area the area of the glued surface or a prime which was a over cosine of 30 degrees so basically this time we have p sine of 30 degrees times cosine of 30 degrees over a which we found in the previous part 15 inches squared and the p here uh, we can use either pound or kips really doesn't matter let's go with pounds in order to get it in psi uh, so basically we have sine of 30 degrees times cosine of 30 degrees times 100 so this is going to give us 43.3 psi as the final answer for the b part of the question hope everything was clear let me know if you guys have any questions we are covering different textbooks in this channel feel free to check out the playlist and let me know if you have any specific problem from those textbooks that you want me to cover in the next videos and yeah you guys take care i'll see you in the next one